Walter Overcorger, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Well, this week we are coming to you at the edge of Castle Bar on the N5 on the approach row into the town. And the first station you come across is Mulroy's. And they are celebrating 30 years in business. They opened in 1992, so it's a big, big day of celebration here today. Well, first of all, uh, I was farming, you know, in my early 20s. I started in farming. I was at that for a number of years. After uh, a few years, I uh, went working for Roadstone. And I was driving for Roadstone for about seven or eight years. And after that, I went working uh, with my brother in the building. For I was there for seven or eight years. And that's when the recession came in in the 70s, sometime in the 70s. And you could say the building collapsed at that time, you know. And uh, we had land out here and we had a site here. And one of the oil companies came along one day and he asked me would I be interested in putting up a petrol station. Now, there was, there was nothing out here at that time. Only Travenon was there. And there was all green fields around here. But... Uh, you know, all that was out here at that time was Travenol and the airport. So um, eventually we got started after some time. Uh, the, uh, one of the main reasons I, I went into that here at that time, most of the petrol stations had no shop. If they had a shop, they were only selling oil at that time. That's 40 years ago, oil and you know, that kind of carousel and stuff. But I thought then... We were the first one to open a, a shop, say, at Petal Station with groceries in the town at that time. So around that time, the bacon factory was for sale. And so Joe said, but, he said, one day, I think we'll buy the bacon factory. In the bacon factory, it was closed at the time. But the, the years, some years before that, there was over a thousand people working in the bacon factory. And the time we took it over, uh, it was all the equipment was there and um, all the machinery was there and, we and Joe took it over and I was involved, not that much, he would be the main one, you know, they'd be involved in it, you know. Yeah, a, a few years after we took it over then, the new road was coming in, in to Castle Bear and we were uh, going out to the Maryland, the new road and uh, again, uh, some of the companies came along again and said that would be a good place for a petrol station. Uh, so we looked at it there for a couple of years and after a couple of years we applied for planning mission. We got planning mission to open a petrol station and a shop there. Almost after 40 years, uh, myself and Wylian um, has, you could say, retired, but we pop in and out, you know, maybe just uh, doing our jobs or that, you know, but we, we spent uh, nearly 40 years, but the um, lads is, taken over now for some years, uh, Alan and Colm and John, for, for a number of years now. So uh, this seems to be going all right. I get paid every week anyhow. <laughs> As I was saying, the, the lads are taken over now. And you know, I, I have no doubt that um, they will keep going this, from strength to strength. Uh, at the moment, they're going very well. And in the long term, I'm sure it'll be here for years to come and maybe for the next generation hopefully you know I, I i would also like to thank the staff over the over the years and we have staff since we started 40 years ago and we have a lot of workers there for the last 20 years you know they are very much part of the success of Mulroy's business over the years and on behalf of myself and eileen i'd like to thank them uh, for their services over the years. I'm with the Mulroys since 78 uh, on the buildings and in 85 I went from the buildings to the, the filling station on the Brafey Road and I worked there for eight years and then in 92 I came to this establishment to send me down to operate it, get it up and running for them which I did in 92 and I'm here since. So, quite happy, working away, and wish them all the best of luck. In them times, we used to have the older care, the old Morris Miners and the Beatles and the Cortinas, 
and they started moving up to the Mark 3 Cortina and Mark, three, Mark 4 Cortina and then the, the older ones phased out of it. Yes, uh, the fuel changed then from the leaded to the unleaded fuel about 20, 22 or 23 years ago and they were put changed everyone over to the diesel and nowadays it's going the other way around, going back to the petrol again and the electric. It was, the forecourt was the same size, shop was just a small little shop like, but it's, it's expanded since, there was no hot food and we had to bring our own sandwich and that sort of thing which was in them days, but no cup of tea. So things it has moved on, now we have all the food done. All that. Yeah, business, there's way more traffic now on the road. Uh, business is booming and cares coming from all angles and very busy and big changes in the last 20, 25 years. Yeah, so. yeah the care wash came in then back, the first care wash. We used to have to sort of prepare the care sort with the bucket of water on the brush and do the wheels and move them up then and wash them and keep the line going and that sort of thing like. Yes, we have a little, much like the post office here, we have plenty of letters and messages left. Uh, plenty of part small parcels for people from different garages for picking up. Uh, this filling station here now would be like a little community hub where the, the bits and pieces be left in for people to collect and they'd always come and collect them and that sort of thing. And when Christmas comes then they give you a price of a pint for yourself and that sort of thing, you know. Ah, it's all good, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Everything. With the 13th anniversary celebrations in full swing, we caught up with some of the long-serving members of staff. My name is Bernie Walsh and I'm here about 28, 29 years. Before I came here, I was a year on Breakfast Road and I'm very happy here and I love it. It's a great place to work. I'm Geraldine. I started employment in 2015, so seven years here. A great place to work, brilliant colleagues to work with. And I would like to wish them all rise the very best of luck and congratulations. Looking forward to the future. Hello, I started in December 1992 with Roy's. They are a lovely family to work with, so we decided to have a big party here for this day. So I just wish Bruce Island Sean and all, all the Roy family uh, happiness in the, the future. Hello, I'm 18 years working here and it's a great place to work and wishing the Maroy family the best of luck in the future. Congratulations, well done. Congratulations, Kathleen. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice round of applause. Yes. Congratulations, Eileen. 13 years. Wonderful achievement. Well done. I'm glad you're here. 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 My name is John Dean, I'm a student, I'm from Castle Bear and um, I've been working here for the past five years. I'm studying in Galway and it's been great to have a part-time job here. Mulroy's have to say on um, from behalf of all the students here working in the shop. The family have been very good to every student that's come in. It's great to have a part-time job and you get to come home at the weekend, see your family as well come in and you know see the locals, the customers that are coming in and have the crack as well with the uh, 
part-time staff and um, basically what my, I do here I'm in the pumps here at the fuel, so I take care of the diesel, the petrol, briquettes, uh, coal, all that sort of stuff, and just covering around the shop and making sure that everything's kind of flowing. Um, but yeah, it's been great to work here for the past five years, made many a friend, and um, yeah, it's really put you instead for going forward in life after college when you graduate. You can't really teach the skills that you learn, facing customers every day and working with people, so I have to say, You'll be forever in debt as a student if you're working in Mulroy's to the family. Fortune Ross, you're very welcome back to part two of the programme. Well, Alan Mulroy has taken over the business from his father and he took time out from his busy schedule to talk to us. We started when um, our family opened the shop on Brafey Road over, um, just over 40 years ago. Um, it's good training. Um, I can remember distinctly washing cars with the power washer from about eight on a Saturday morning to 10 o'clock on a Saturday night and the same again on a Sunday. The queues used to be out in front of Monaghan Motors there, along that road. No brakes. Um, a friend of mine, Tom McHugh, worked with me for a long, long time on them two days. And then after school, we'd come in and do the few jobs as well. Um, now we got plenty of schooling too, but you worked really hard to get Brafey Road up and going back then, like that kind of way. Um, then I think it was 10 years later, Bar Castle. We started looking at uh, putting the shop down here, and then um, the bacon factory a site became vacant on it, and we looked at that and decided to go for it. And uh, that was a big undertaking. So that opened 30 years ago, and I was here from day one. Well, more or less, and a few staff members that were here since that day as well. It was a jet filling station at the time. Um, great company to work with. Very strong. Lovely people as well. I remember them. Brian Mitchell, he was the area rep at the time. Um, very nice man. And with them a long time, and Jet was bought out, then maybe it could have been Statoil. And then I can't remember who was after that then. But um, yeah, it was good, good days. And we power washing again and done the same thing. And then as the years went on, it's just progressed. The food, yeah, kicked in then maybe two or three years after that. It was only a small half food counter, I think. We were the only ones in Castlebar at the time with the half food counter. And I can remember Dad inside there doing the chips every Saturday, which you wouldn't do it now. <laughs> um, he'd be thrown out. Um, but he still goes into the kitchen. And chill, kind of a, um, it was good, and Saturdays and Sundays were very busy back then, even, you know. But the food just progressed on and on. And we had a chef, Mary McDonald, there at the very beginning. And we did open the half food counter. She was with us a few years. Um, yeah, so it was busy. Then an off license went in a few years later, and there wasn't many off license back in the time. And it was only a small corner, so that took off really well. And it just as the years progressed, and just minded the food, and land us very good as well. And what they doing up the shops, the spec of the shop, and just. The technologies and stuff like that. So it's just dealing with Landis for over 40 years, they were very good with um, advice and revamps and just kept progressing. The food was key though, um, getting that right and minding it and that's why it's so busy all the time to be honest, your kind of way. So at the minute now we've about um, 75 staff here, 35 full and 30 something um, half uh, part time. 
So um, that's going strong. Um, coffee was another big one that moved on. It used to be the capsules um, one time. Kenko, Kenko capsules, if you remember the machines. Um, and now we've done with, Seattle, or with Seattle's best lovely coffee and that's going really well for us. We have four coffee machines now and it's a big part of the business now as well. Another thing that needs mind, which we do and keep it nice. You know? Sit down now area is um, working really well for us. Um, plate dinners, steak, even on a Sunday now we do duck as well to the menu. So Sunday has become really, really busy. Um, you could say from nine o'clock until seven o'clock on a Sunday. And during the week we're open until half seven on the hot counter in Delhi. Um, so that's really, really going well for us. At the minute now we have um, a pass machine, the ATM outside. Car wash, which is ver it, um, the underbody wash for the NCT. And the off license spec now is, is really, really good. have a lot of massive uh, fridge in there now at the minute and that's working really well since the last revamp. Another thing that's doing really well for us is the bakery. We have three bakers in there and baking is done seven days a week and it's going really, really well for us. Um, Circle K I'd like to mention too. Um, been very good to us. Good brand, good fuel um, and that's going really well being part of the Circle K group as well. I uh, worked in the cash and carry and Sean contacted me to see if I was interested in a position on the floor and uh, on the pumps and I took it up. So 22 years was a long goal. Uh, an enjoyment 22 years. They were great to work for Sean and Alan, Eileen, Colin and John, they're all Mary, they're all fantastic, fantastic family. So I've enjoyed my time here and as long as I'm another few years here I'll make the best of it. And you might just mention about you know some of the changes you've seen over the years. Yeah there's been, been lots lots of changes like computerization and everything has gone gone crazy like you know what I mean everything is so it's all computerized now. And uh, it's probably for the better like you know and uh, like you get to every position you work in you get to learn something new. You know so it's all good like it's all good for and is there any particular thing you've noticed in people's habits has changed an awful lot then, over the years? Uh, yeah, out the, yeah, out the area, yeah. Well, say if I come to years ago, like, you know, I mean, people are really, um, like the hot food down there now, that's really, once upon a time you'd never see that. Like, you say, 22 years ago, it was really a uh, small, small area, like, you know, but now it's huge. Hot food is huge, like. And even though, like, they say the grocery and the off so that's all, like the offices are new in the last number of years, like it's, it's all going, it's all going well, like it's like all the opposition we have around us, like Niddles and Aldis and uh, Super Savers up there and all them, like we're still, we're still holding our own, which is good, like and like they they employ a lot of staff, like over the years a lot of staff have come and go and have all got had work, like you know, and um, no, that's good, it's good for it's good for everyone, like you know, we hope to be here for many more years to come, like you know, in all Paris. And I'd just like to say, I mentioned uh, one of our staff members, um, Mary Fahey. She worked here for years down in the office, and she passed away earlier on this year. So we just we're, we're all thinking about her at this time, because she'd, she'd love to be here to, to see the crack and all this, you know, all the cushion, all the, the bling and all that. So she's in her, in her thoughts. Um, I started here in 24 years ago. Uh, we started, uh, Sean interviewed me in a small little office. Um, I can't remember how many staff, maybe 10. I um, was working in the deli counter and at that time you had to work at the deli counter and run up to the checkouts. There was no such thing as staying at the deli counter, I had all the jobs to do. Um, and then, uh, um, and then um, it got, started getting bigger and uh, I moved up to the checkouts full time and then we started packing shelves down the floor. Then um, I eventually started doing cigarettes and then they moved me into the office doing um, price changes and input and dockets and all that. And it grew and grew and then Alan kind of took over and the business got bigger and bigger and started growing. But the best day I think I, since I came here was the day we won the lotto. Um, Dolores rang and we thought she was a mint kiss. <laughs> that she, she heard it on the thing and she said maybe it's us. And the excitement from there on grew and grew. We still don't know who won it but um, the, that day there was television cameras, there was photographs, there was champagne. Um, we were on the news. It was so busy. Um, the last of that day was 17 million. We're still trying to, it was unreal, it was unheard of around Cash Square, and we're still trying to find out who won it, and still nobody knows. But I'm sure they're spinning as well, and hopefully they are.
Um, what I miss most now about being in the office is missing, well, the most thing I like in the shop is uh, customers, uh, staff is lovely, um, Mulroy's is lovely to work for, but I miss the crack when I'm in the office of meeting the customers and chatting to them. But I probably would spend too long chatting to them if I was left out here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lovely place to work, I have to say. Mulroy's are lovely people. As a young lad, growing up, I came into school in Castlebar, the vocation school, and my first memories was walking up to the on sport lawn through the bacon factory. Uh, at the time, it was a hive of activity, a lot of jobs created in Castlebar, and long-term jobs at the time. That was in the early 80s. As the 80s evolved, mid-80s went on, it winded down. It was bought out with bigger processing companies, Staff was let go as the 80s winded, went down, and the back of the bacon factory was wound up altogether, and the whole site was sold. After the, the sale, it was taken over by bought, purchased by the Mulroy brothers, Sean and his brother Joe, and as the years went on, then it did climb into employment again of a different sort. It's now full of retail units, cinema, bowling alley and the main anchor is this supermarket here on the corner of the site adjacent to the in five which as it happens was built in the 80s which was a huge a huge asset to the town of castle bear for people traveling it was give them great scope and a different road to go out of the town um i'm 26 years with the business here i was taken on in 1996 april 1996 i started with the mulroys i started out in the front in the forecourt fill in petrol for people that time. It was no cell service that time. Everyone was catered for. We tried to fill cars, pumped wheels, topped up the water and oil, whatever had to be done. As the years went on, I came inside into the shop for a while behind the tills. Uh, in the initial years when I started first, it was only a very small staff here, five or six people in the evening. I worked second shift at the time, second half of the day until 11 at night close. And it was only in the very few first years, there were only three of us here. One on the front and two in the shop. So it shows how the business has grown since to the huge staff we have today, both on first and second shift. And it's a, it's a testimony to how the people stood by the business, the local people stood by it, and how the family was treated the people that came into the business. And I think you have to have both to run a business in any town. But this shop is hailed to be one of the busiest, not alone in Castle Bear, but I'd say this side of the Shannon in a filling station. So it's a credit to all involved today and for the people that had the guts to take it on day one and start it up. So as it happens today, there's the only place you can get a bit of bacon today in Castle Bear is in a breakfast roll in Mulroy's. <laughs> Congrats once again to all at Mulroy's London Service Station on their 30th anniversary celebrations. And may the next 30 years be equally as good. Until next week, Slong Fall.